Hello, everybody. It is your favorite doctor, Dr. Faith Abraham. That is me. It is me. It is me. I'm here with a video for you today. And I want to answer some questions for you. But before I do, be sure that you subscribe. You hit the notifications button uh, so that you can get the little notification on your phone that I've uploaded a video so that I can answer your questions for you and you can shoot this out boop, 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 make it go viral send it to a text message send it to a friend send it to your boo uh, so they know what's going on and um, can get some expertise in regards to whatever it is that's going on so listen let's have a conversation shall we <laughs> let's have a conversation shall we so uh, the question of the day is, Dr. Faith, what do I do when my spouse is manipulative? That is a very great question. Well, first of all, I'm going to say get some counseling. Yeah. And that's an easy response because I usually get the question back. Well, what if they don't want counseling? What if they don't see the error in their ways? Which is more than likely very, very true. Um, there's a lot and it really just depends on the person. It depends on the couple. But what I usually say is in a situation like that, number one, yes, please get some counseling, get some therapy. Um, for you as a couple and you guys as individuals and sometimes if you get a really good counselor you'll have someone who will want to do counseling with the two of you and then separate you guys at some point during your um uh decided number of sessions um you know uh, you guys will be able to do some individual counseling, some individual sessions, because most oftentimes people don't realize that they are being manipulative, that they're dictating your action, your response, your behavior to certain things. They're only looking out for themselves. Um, and so, of course, manipulation is rooted in being very selfish period. Um, you're not going to manipulate the one that you love. You want your the one that you love to um, be able to express themselves, be able to um, enjoy you and you be able to enjoy them. You want them to be able, you want to be able to sacrifice for them just so they can be happy and vice versa so if you're the only one sacrificing so to speak so that that person can be happy but when it's your turn it doesn't happen there is there is a problem okay and so the counseling is good uh very necessary if uh then number two one of the things that you can do is just begin to um identify that behavior and find ways to show them how they are behaving or what's happening now i will also say this this is only um advised in a marriage why because Oftentimes, people do in, in boyfriend girlfriend situations do things that are married people responsibilities, married people, um, 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 you know, work. And when your boyfriend and girlfriend, especially in the beginning, you know, it those are those are really heavy duty committing uh type of things you don't want to give yourself or commit yourself to working on someone's behavior working on somebody's faults working on somebody's issues as boyfriend and girlfriend that's what's what covenant is for that is what marriage is for and so you do some of these things um a lot of these things in marriage why because you guys are committed to each other for the growth for better for worse for the growth of the both of you and the growth of the relationship right and so i only advise this really for married couples but i know there'll be um uh, relationships who will do this but try to find ways to um show each other um, or show the person the behavior that they're doing and how it affects you. Um, though they may be uh, selfish, um, they may, unless they're a narcissist, they are not going to lack empathy. Um, they'll be able to say, wow, I didn't know that was affecting you or I didn't realize that that's what I was doing or I didn't realize that what I was doing was affecting you. Um, I didn't, you know, so find ways to show them their behavior or say listen this is what you're doing or this is what you're saying and i'm not it's not working for me or it's uh, hurting me or what have you 
okay? Um, then the third thing that you wanna do is um, attend um, seminars or conferences in which um, healthy relationships are being displayed. Oftentimes when people are manipulative, it's really because that's all they know. So they are mimicking behavior, they're mimicking ways that they've adopted, that they've seen, that the only thing that they know and not realizing that it's dysfunctional in uh, its root, okay? And so when you can now see how healthy relationships are supposed to work, healthy conflict resolution, healthy ways of uh, coming to an agreement, um, sharing, uh, things of that nature, when they when they see healthy, then it can get trigger and get them to begin to perceive and do things in a way that they're not doing things already. Um, so that is what I would advise. Number one, counselor, therapist, a third party, an unbiased third party is always good. Number two, find ways to show them uh, their behavior and how it affects you. And then number three, uh, find uh, opportunities to see healthy uh, behavior being displayed.